first descendant just received a major update and it addresses one of the most requested feature in the game and as well as finally getting answer on the rumors of things getting nerfed due to its popularity patch 1.0.2 now available on pc playstation and xbox includes the following updates the most requested feature matchmaking for hard mode infiltration operations and this feature has been added as promised they also added monster pattern renaming to improve clarity and organization in addition the developers also reduced grind and the game's difficulty curve has been slightly eased there were also a couple of bug fixes and the speed of the instructor robot speech has been slowed down for better comprehension in the patch notes nexon also addressed concerns about meta builds specifically those involving the character glay and the rare machine gun tamer which allow players to defeat bosses or colossi in seconds nexon reassured players that there are no plans to nerf these builds as they were expected and are part of the game's design they said that it has come to their attention that the community is worried about possible nerfs to tamer and glay's infinite magazine builds and they continued that this meta is very strong but since it is within the scope of what the dev team has planned there are no immediate plans to do so nexon also addressed community concerns regarding item drop rates as some players felt the displayed rates were not accurate nexon clarified there is no variable drop rate system in the first descendant and they are using the fixed rates displayed in the game they added that they have reviewed the acquisition rates across all servers and confirmed that they are dropping according to the rates displayed they are currently working on various measures to ensure the community can trust the dev team such as disclosing item drop amounts for each content and they also prepare ways to improve the farming experience the first descendant will continue to communicate transparently and honestly this is looking great for the game as the developers are continually addressing issues making the game better and i love that the developers are being transparent on every changes that they made and they are also engaged with the community this is really looking positive for the future of the first descendant and i think this game is the start of the redemption arc of nexon fingers crossed though the update is about 267 mb on steam and you can download it now the first descendant is not in the perfect shape right now as if we compare it with the other free-to-play looter shooter out there you will see that there are tons of things that should be added in the game to make it better a few of these things are player trading which definitely make the game a lot better and this will definitely silence all those critique about the game having the worst drop rate for looter shooter aside from that they could add a pity system the same as in warframe wherein if you can't farm the item you want then you will also be rewarded with currency in the mission which will allow you to purchase that specific item you need from a vendor if you have enough currency these are the two main features i want to see in the future and also hoping that there will be more story involved for each descendants in the game. Mm -hmm.